The Frost Giants of Norse Mythology Frost giants, known as Jotnar or Jutnar in Norse mythology, are a central part of the mythological cosmology of the ancient Norse. These mighty beings are often depicted as towering figures, representing the chaotic forces of nature, particularly cold and ice. They lived in the realm of Jotunheim, a frozen land filled with mountains, glaciers, and barren wilderness. Unlike the gods of Asgard, who represent order, the frost giants embody the unpredictable and destructive elements of nature. In Norse mythology, the frost giants were not merely antagonists to the gods, but complex figures. They had interactions with the gods, sometimes hostile and sometimes peaceful. Frost giants' relationship with the gods of Asgard, including Odin and Thor, often revolved around themes of chaos versus order. In fact, some of the gods themselves have Jotnar ancestry, highlighting the intertwined and often ambiguous nature of their relationship. Origins of the Frost Giants The Frost Giants' story begins with the creation of the world in Norse mythology. According to the Prose Edda, one of the primary sources of Norse myth, the world began in a vast void known as Ginungagap, ordered by two realms, Icy Niflheim and the Fiery Muspel. In the clash of these two extremes, the first being was born. A giant named Ymir, the progenitor of all giants. Ymir's body became the source of creation for the world. When Odin and his brothers, Vili and Ve, killed Ymir, they used his body to shape the earth. His flesh became the land, his blood the seas, and his bones the mountains. Despite Ymir's death, the frost giants continued to live in Jotunheim, thriving in their icy wilderness. The Role of Jotunheim Jotunheim, the home of the frost giants, was one of the nine realms of Norse mythology. It was located far from Asgard, separated by dangerous rivers and mountains. Jotunheim was a harsh and frozen land, symbolizing the chaos and destruction associated with the frost giants. Despite its inhospitable nature, Jotunheim was a place of immense beauty and power. Jotunheim was not just a land of cold, it was also a place of ancient knowledge and mystical power. The frost giants possessed wisdom that often surpassed even the gods especially in matters of the cosmos and natural forces. This is evident in several myths where gods like Odin seek knowledge from Jotnar, indicating that while the giants were often enemies, they were also respected for their wisdom. Thor and the Frost Giants The god Thor, the protector of Midgard, Earth, and the son of Odin, was one of the primary adversaries of the Frost Giants. His role as the slayer of giants is a recurring theme in Norse mythology. Thor's immense strength and magical hammer, Mjolnir, were often used in his battles against the frost giants, whom he saw as a threat to the balance of the world. One famous myth involving Thor and the frost giants is his journey to the land of Utgard, ruled by a giant king named Utgard Loki. In this story, Thor faces numerous trials and illusions that test his strength and intelligence. Although the giants manage to trick Thor temporarily, he eventually realizes their deceit and plans his vengeance. This myth shows the complicated and often humorous relationship between Thor and the giants. Frost Giants as a Metaphor for Natural Forces Frost giants are often interpreted as metaphors for the untamable forces of nature, particularly the cold and ice that dominated the Nordic landscape. Their battles with the gods of Asgard symbolize the eternal struggle between chaos and order. The frost giants, association with winter and freezing conditions made them figures of fear and respect in a society where survival through harsh winters was a constant challenge. In this sense, the frost giants can be seen as natural adversaries to the gods, who represented stability, utility, and protection. The frost giants' connection to the elemental forces of the world made them both destructive and necessary. They were a reminder of the dangers of the natural world, but also of the importance of balance between opposing forces. Loki and the Frost Giants Loki, the trickster god, had a unique relationship with the frost giant. He himself was born from a Jotun mother, making him part giant, though he lived among the gods of Asgard. Loki's dual nature allowed him to act as a bridge between the two worlds. He often shifted allegiances, sometimes aiding the frost giants, and other times betraying them for the gods. Loki's role in the eventual destruction of the world, known as Ragnarok, is closely tied to his frost giant heritage. During Ragnarok, Loki leads the armies of Jotunheim against the gods, signaling the end of the current order and the dawn of chaos. 
This association highlights the ambiguous and often destructive nature of both Loki and the Frost Giants. Ymir, primordial giant Ymir, the ancestor of all Frost Giants, plays a significant role in the cosmology of Norse mythology. His creation from the merging of ice and fire symbolizes the interplay of opposites that characterizes the Norse worldview. As the progenitor of the giants, Ymir's existence predates the gods themselves, placing the frost giants in an ancient and elemental role within the mythos. Ymir's death at the hands of Odin and his brothers marked a cosmic event. The very creation of the world from Ymir's body highlights the cycle of destruction and creation that is central to Norse mythology. While Ymir was a chaotic and dangerous figure, his death paved the way for the structured world in which the gods and humans could thrive. Ragnarok and the Frost Giants Ragnarok, the prophesied end of the world in Norse mythology, is a climactic event where the Frost Giants play a central role. According to the myths, the Frost Giants, led by Loki, will march from Jotunheim to Asgard, bringing death and destruction. This battle signifies the final clash between order, the gods, and chaos, the giants, resulting in the death of many gods and the collapse of the world. However, Ragnarok is not just a story of destruction, it is also a tale of renewal. After the world is destroyed, a new one is said to rise from the ashes, with surviving gods and humans creating a new era. The Frost Giants' role in Ragnarok underscores their importance in the cyclical nature of the cosmos representing both an end and a beginning. Cultural Impact and Symbolism The Frost Giants have had a lasting impact on modern interpretations of Norse mythology, appearing in various forms of popular culture, from literature to films and video games. Their symbolism as embodiments of the raw power of nature continues to resonate, especially in the cold, harsh landscapes of Scandinavia, where these myths originated. In modern times, the Frost Giants are often portrayed as villains, yet their original mythological role was more nuanced. They were agents of change, both destructive and creative, and their actions were necessary for the balance of the world. This dual nature has made them enduring figures in storytelling, symbolizing the power of nature and the inevitability of change. Frost Giants in Modern Fantasy Frost giants have become a staple in modern fantasy, especially in works influenced by Norse mythology. They are often portrayed as massive, cold-hearted warriors living in frozen wastelands, drawing from their mythological roots. In franchises like Dungeons and & Dragons and Marvel's Thor, frost giants are key antagonists, embodying the primal forces of ice and cold. This adaptation of the frost giants into modern fantasy has helped keep their mythological essence alive. While their depiction may vary, the core idea of frost giants as powerful, ancient beings connected to the forces of nature continues to captivate audiences. Their role in modern stories often mirrors their mythological roots as both adversaries and embodiments of a world beyond human control. Gender and Family in Jotun Mythology While the term frost giants often conjures images of male warriors, Jotnar included powerful female giants as well. These Jotun women were often portrayed as wise, magical, and formidable in their own right. For example, the giantess Angerboda was the mother of Loki's monstrous children, including the wolf Fenrir and the world serpent Jormungandr, both of whom play significant roles in Ragnarok. The family structure of the Jotnar was complex, with many giants marrying or having children with the gods. This intermingling of giants and gods further blurred the lines between these two groups, creating a rich tapestry of alliances, betrayals, and conflicts. These relationships emphasize the interconnectedness of all beings within the Norse cosmology. The Enduring Legacy of Frost Giants Frost Giants, with their deep roots in Norse mythology, have remained one of the most iconic figures in ancient myth. Their stories of chaos, destruction, wisdom, and renewal continue to captivate audiences today, reflecting humanity's ongoing fascination with forces of nature, and the mysteries of the cosmos. In conclusion, frost giants symbolize more than just antagonistic beings. They represent a vital part of the mythological balance between creation and destruction. Their presence in Norse myths teaches us about the fragility of life, the inevitability of change, and the power of nature, themes that remain relevant in both ancient and modern storytelling. 
Thank you for joining us on this journey through legend and lore. Subscribe for more mythical tales and epic legends.